Hi guys, I wanted to go over a potentially winning option trade for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is Friday the 12th of August 2011 and we've seen a very volatile couple of weeks in the markets, especially last week uh, with the market crashing tremendously. For example, you can see here uh, the SPY uh, S&P 500, this is a trust has gone down from 134 points uh, on the 25th of July and now we're at 114 points approximately. So a tremendous, tremendous uh, crash in the value of the market. Uh, now, now what I wanted to go over was a potentially winning option trade for tomorrow. Uh, and this is a product of my in-depth analysis of, uh, of a few stocks and their price movement tendencies. So I'm just going here to a uh, an Excel analysis sheet that I prepared. Uh, and now this is of the Apple stock. Now if you have a look at this graph over here, this is a graph of the uh, average, average standard deviation price changes which is divided into weekdays and there are three different bars for each day. The blue is a close to close price change from the, close, the prior close to the current day's close. The red here is the close to open price change, the close from the prior night to the open on, on the same day. And the green is the intraday price change. It's a change from the open to the close of the same day. So what we can see here that Apple shows a tendency to exhibit increased intraday volatility on Mondays and Fridays. Now Fridays is potentially a great day for option trading because Friday is expiration day every week for Apple because it has weekly options. Now this means that the price of the options have been mostly eroded by time decay so Friday can make an excellent option trading opportunity. Now what we can also see if we go to uh, to this table over here is that currently one standard deviation uh, for Apple is equivalent to approximately nine points. Okay, It's increased a lot recently due to the uh, due to the massive volatility spike. Now, now if we go here to a, a profit and loss graph, we can see that Apple uh, straddle at the money straddle. Apple is trading at three seventy points here. We can see that the at the money straddle here is trading for eight dollars ninety three, and the theta is minus two hundred and thirteen. Okay, that means tomorrow the straddle will be worth less approximately two dollars. So we, we can expect a straddle to fetch to, to go for around the seven dollar uh, seven dollar price. Now now what this means is that actually now if you just have a look at the today's straddle, so the, the price is nine dollars. So that means the uh, the break even point at expiration will be plus or minus nine dollars to either side. So it's now trading at 370. The break-even point expiration will be 379 to the upside and 361 to the downside. And tomorrow, remember, we expect that the price will be just seven dollars, with a one standard deviation price change being nine dollars. So going back to, to this information we can see that we expect that the open to close price change average is one standard deviation over nine points which should be in our profit in our profit range now if we have a look at another metric here which is the average intraday range in terms of standard deviations we can see that the average intraday price change is 1.53 standard deviations or approximately uh, approximately 13 or 14 points and finally, we can see that the percentage day changes over six points, uh, or let's choose, a, if we choose seven points, okay, is over 50% for Apple. So this makes a potentially excellent trade for this Friday.